Hey everybody, this is Andrew with the ImageQuick's product support team. Thank you so much for tuning in. I'm really excited to talk with you all about the power of a checklist. Ensure photo day success with these simple steps from ImageQuick's. Again, thank you so much for tuning in. And with that, let's get started. So, why would you want to use a checklist anyway? Well, there's tons of great reasons. Some of the more common reasons, in my opinion, the best ones, is that it's allowing you to create and share best practices. Free up your mental resources so that you can focus on the more important tasks at hand, like taking great pictures. It also encourages a routine allowing you as the studio to apply a clear standard system of process management for repetitive tasks. It helps reduce the number of potential errors that can occur throughout your workflow, thus saving you critical amounts of time and money. Now, we at the ImageQuick's product support team have seen numerous problems arise through simple misconfigurations that could have been easily avoidable. And it's our goal to shine a light on these settings and configurations to ensure that our studios can have a wonderful and successful fall season. And to kick us off here, one of the more common issues that we've seen is a misconfiguration with Blueprint's automatic aspect ratio feature. Now keep in mind, this may be turned on by default. Blueprint can apply a non-destructive crop on all images added in on each device. Now, this feature will be turned off by default for new installations after August 12th, 2021. And don't get me wrong, this is a handy feature for sure. There's no doubt, but if you're wanting your images to get added into the job as you've taken them in the moment, you'll want to make sure that you go into your device's smart tag settings and turn this feature off. Understanding this feature is critical in saving you time and money from any cropping mistakes that can occur throughout your workflow. And while you're there, why not use automatic head sizing? Blueprint can look for the faces of subjects in your images as they're added in. It applies a unique, non-destructive XY crop and zoom on your images. Let Blueprint forgive your photographers for shooting a little loose. Are your print templates printing properly? Review your ID card designs in My Design tab before going on site. You'll want to ensure that any dynamic text or image mapping in your design is set correctly for your workflow. Are you printing vertical IDs? Make sure you have print rotation set to 90 in the design. You can test your design by attaching it to your job as a print template in job settings. Is each capture station using unique prefixes for image file names? This can help eliminate any sorting mistakes between devices or jobs should an error occur and ImageQuick's product support needs to look through your logs, create a data set, and assist you with importing that data back into Blueprint. Being able to understand who took the picture and which job it belongs in at a glance is extremely powerful. That's why we recommend the image file name format of photographer initials, the job ID number, and then the image sequence number. As a bonus, you'll want to make sure that each camera's timestamp is accurate for proper date sorting in Blueprint. Know your job's order fulfillment game plan before going live. Does the job have the right order fulfillment settings checked? As in, are you bulk drop shipping all of your orders to a single location? 
or are you direct shipping your orders to your customers? Is the job using the right price sheet and shopping cart template for your desired fulfillment process? Keep in mind that some partner labs require a different price sheet depending on if you're planning on bulk drop shipment or direct shipping your orders. Is the studio automating orders directly to the fulfiller? Or are you manually releasing them after a quality assurance check? Is the studio fulfilling in-house image services like retouching? Keep in mind that those image services need to be completed before the orders will appear at the lab for printing. And for you pre-order studios, are you using a custom form on your job for order assignment? This piece is especially critical as it's needed to capture that specific data to assign your orders to your subjects. You'll also want to make sure you're keeping your eyes on new image service orders in the Fulfillment tab. All self-fulfilled image options ordered will appear in Blueprint's Fulfillment tab, waiting for processing. Be sure to check often, as these service orders must be completed before orders can arrive at your lab for printing. You can always check out our Help Center article for details on processing service orders titled, Getting Started with Image Service Fulfillment in Blueprint. Not to brag, but there's a pretty sweet video that goes through the entire process. And as a new feature in Blueprint, you can now automatically add your serviced images back into your job. Set your price sheet's image options to add serviced images back into your job automatically. Once the service is complete, the image will be ready to print and will appear back into the job as a version of the existing image. That new image, by the way, carries over all image attributes like primary, yearbook one, yearbook two, and will be automatically ready for your exports. Did you download everything needed for offline use? Are your devices up to date with the latest software updates for your operating system, your ID card printer, if applicable, and Blueprint? Open the job you're about to shoot for on each device to have Blueprint automatically download content for offline work. Are you printing ID cards on site? Make sure the print template is attached to the job and the design is finished for offline printing before you download the job. You'll also want to download the Zoom app on your devices for ImageQuick's product support to easily connect when necessary. Now, what should you do during an on-site emergency? Well, first, remain calm. We will prioritize your support. We've got your back. You'll want to download the Blueprint logs from your device in Blueprint Preferences, Advanced. And start a chat with us at www.imagequicks.com with the word emergency in your message. Include the studio name, job name, logs, and a brief description of the problem. You'll be routed to the proper specialist for the fastest resolution possible. We'll respond with a click to join Zoom link to get connected to your device, on-site connection permitting, or call you back immediately. Now, you might be thinking to yourself at this point, how does this apply to a checklist? Well, if you're using the SmartTag Tethered workflow, we want to help ensure your success by providing this handy checklist to run through all of your equipment, your software settings, and really just anything to ensure that you have a successful season. Download this checklist by scanning the QR code or reaching out to us at www.imagequicks.com 
be more than happy to provide you a copy. Feel free to print this out and use this in the studio to verify and confirm and document that your cameras are set up properly, your workstations are set up properly, and Blueprint is set up properly. It also provides a handy little QR code in the bottom right hand corner that you can use to, with your phone, quickly scan and schedule an appointment with product support if needed. We hope you'll find it useful this season. Well, and that's all I've got. Again, this is Andrew with the ImageQuick's product support team. It's been an absolute pleasure going through these simple steps to ensure photo day success. Thank you so much for tuning in, and I hope you all have a wonderful day.